Hello, this is Johnny. Um, I have a virtual uh, virtual man's man image of five hundred twelve uh, gigabyte on a micro SD card. Now, I went and bought the micro SD card because uh, the best the best way to go around it. At first, I tried to use the hard drive. I I burn the hard I burn the image to the hard drive, but the problem is it doesn't recognize the rest of the space. So I bought an eight eight terabyte, and it only burned four hundred ninety something, roughly close to five hundred twelve kilobyte, uh uh, uh, uh five hundred twelve gigabyte, not not gigabyte, and that's the the five hundred twelve gigabyte space only. That I could use, and so the rest of the terabyte is all wasted. So I can't utilize the rest of the space. So the question is, well, then, then what should, what should I do? Well, right now, Raspberry Pi 4B uh, do not support the the terabyte. The most it support is uh, two terabyte. But that's only for Raspberry 3B Plus. So if you're trying to burn the image bigger than two terabyte, it's not going to see it, and you cannot expand the hard drive. Now I use a two terabyte and try to do it on Raspberry Pi 4, and it doesn't work either. So it's best is to get a SD card that is a 32 gig gigabyte. Uh, virtual man just uh, released a 32 gigabyte that is a virtual man but is uh, by by virtual man and but there's no ROM inside so you have to put all your ROM in a hard drive now you could use a two terabyte or you could use a, a bigger terabyte you know like a four terabyte or something now make sure you download the version 1.5 Okay, either 1.5 or higher because I downloaded the 512 1.4 by Virtual Man and uh, the hard drive stuff does not work. So, so let me uh, this hard drive once you once you boot up, you want to go to the option. Well, once you boot up, first thing you have to do is set up your controller. So, it's going to ask you, uh, it's going to ask you this Do you want to set up your controller? and detect two controller so I say okay press a button so I go up down left right star select a B X Y uh, left shoulder right shoulder then uh, left trigger right trigger left thumb right thumb okay and then rest of them you just keep on pressing until it's until it finish so that's the first thing it will ask you to do when you first boot up from the image okay now you might say well Johnny I really don't want to spend the money buying the 512 gigabyte I don't either honestly I tell you the truth I don't and because it's so expensive it's like close to like $89 87-89 you could buy a good uh, t 4 terabyte for that price you know or, or three, three, ter 3 terabyte for that price so, but if you want to get the image out, because the image that he gave you add on, it doesn't include all this, okay? It doesn't include, uh, it only include like a full set of play, not a full set, but a big set of other, other game. But it doesn't include like uh, Amiga, Amiga CD, you know, it doesn't include the arcade. Uh, why not I have 1740 because I added some game. And in here, I have some game that I added that uh, will not work, like uh, like uh, Golden Axe uh, Duel. It doesn't work. It it it, it fell, and so I added some. Uh, I added a Killer Instant, and Killer Instant One worked very well. I have not overclocked this yet. Uh, it the one does work. Two kind of more lacky, more lack than anything. Uh, but there are some game that is in here that I know it does work, but it doesn't work with the the 
what you call it the core version this version core that he using is not the latest one for the RK and I want to upgrade the, the latest uh, Neo Geo uh, not Neo Geo the final burnout Neo final burnout Neo the new version will play pretty much everything in here and so I wanted to download some of those the latest version but you don't want to you don't want to upgrade everything because if you upgrade everything it's going to create a, a, a problem because some of the game is bet it's better using the older version because it's working like uh, Neo Geo CD it's already working you don't want it mess you don't want to damage it because it's already working you don't want to upgrade it because not every time the new upgrade is actually better is actually sometimes it, it, it doesn't work at all and then you can go backward you could go forward with the upgrade but you can't go backward and that's the problem with with it uh, so I'll just show you some more other one that I added I added the Sonic I added the Street Fight Street of Rage uh, I like the Sonic the Hitchhawk by the mini player, mega player, and uh, mega tech. Those are actually uh, not made for RK. Those are actually uh, the Sega Genesis version that they converted to RK version, if that makes sense to y'all. So it converted to RK. So you got Sonic and Sonic the Hitchhawk. Same thing with uh, Super Mario. I added a Super Mario in here. And. Uh, I added a golden golden uh, golden axe one and two and I added a street of rage uh, one and two and street of rage uh, one and two is actually not part of the uh, it's actually for the Sega version so I added that to there too so I added a uh, strider let me see if I can find it here's street of rage so Street of Rage uh, 1 and Street of Rage 2. So add those. And then uh, Strider 2. Now this one is not, this picture is not the, this is more of a Sega version. But the one I have is actually the, the arcade version. So uh, let me just show you to you real quick. That's the one I use. Now this one worked just fine. So there's a lot of arcade game that uh, Virtual Man did not include that is missing out from it. I did get a chance to talk to him on the YouTube on the live beat video and he say he's gonna add more in the future, add more arcade and he's gonna have some friends to help him do the artwork because arcade you have to, rem you have to realize it doesn't have any artwork. It doesn't have any box art, so to to do to make it work and make it look nice, it take a time to do it. You can you know you could just put it there if you don't want no artwork, it will work. But problem is, if you want to make it look nice and have artwork and everything, you have to put that in there. So as you can see that thing that game does work. Now I tried to put the Super Mario and the Golden Axe. Now the Golden Axe one, I have problem with it because uh, it doesn't work. So I mean the Golden Axe one and two work, but the Golden Axe Duel uh, it doesn't work because I think the I don't know I thought Raspberry Pi were able to handle it, but apparently it, it do not. It will just freeze. I have to reboot the system. So I have Golden Axe. Uh, now, Virtual Man image is very nice. Uh, straight from the straight from the box, the trackball and the spinner does work on the system. So here's Golden Axe uh, two that I added, and this is the Golden Axe Duel. This is the one I was asking him, can he make that work? Because it doesn't work. Uh, I tried all the one that is listed. It just, it just doesn't work. 
So I'm thinking about upgrading to the latest version and see if this will work. It's a Golden Axe Duo that is a fighting game. And this Golden Axe 2, Golden Axe, two different versions, but it's the same. It's just the button, its layout is different. And then this one is Golden Axe uh, Revenge of the Death, and that worked very nice. And so let's go down to the very bottom. I got the Super Nintendo to work, but I have the, the Nintendo version, but I don't have the the Super Mario to work because here's all the the V the V game is all the all the Nintendo game that they converted to an arcade so like uh, Bubble Fight with the VS that's actually a Nintendo game so they converted to arcade same with this one this one now those already in here uh, it created by Virtual Man and the one I added was this one, Super Mario Brother. Now there was one called, uh, uh, it's a Super Mario World, but it doesn't work. So um, that's the reason I'm going to upgrade. This is the one, the Super Mario. This one did not work. So I wanted to upgrade the, the core and upgrade everything. So this video is mainly showing you how to upgrade it and then I'll show you that this game will work after upgrade and then uh, also for the Golden Axe Duel. Okay, because you cannot just upgrade everything with damage. I know that Derek Talk had released and also Virtual Man have released how to upgrade his his 400 uh, gigabyte image but that I asked him on the on the live video on the episode I think 11 he said no don't upgrade everything because it, it will create a problem where the system will not work so he don't recommend you upgrade everything okay now I play with it and I find out what I could upgrade and what I cannot upgrade so this video is talking about what can you do to upgrade this without damage the virtual man's image because the new version just came out from it's a beta version 4.6 about a couple weeks ago it came out and it support raspberry pi 4 okay but this image was came out before 4.6 okay so if you go and upgrade all this stuff it could create a problem all right so first thing i'm going to do is go to press f4 using my keyboard and go to the the prom. All right. So let's bring this closer. Zoom this in. And bear with me. I have to type all this. Now, I already have a hard drive plugged in here, but it doesn't see it. It, it only see whatever. And it's using 100% already. So whenever you buy a SD card, burn it or hard drive, it always will use 100%. So you cannot use the unused space and you because Raspberry Pi 4 doesn't support anything more than two terabyte for Raspberry Pi 3B plus, but for Raspberry Pi 4, it doesn't support it at all. The hard drive. The only hard drive it will support if you use the old-fashioned way where you uh, mount the external hard drive and then the external hard drive could be as big as more than two gigabyte it would be safe to use two tick two te uh, terabyte two terabyte sorry two terabyte because uh, right now virtual man only have one terabyte uh, of game that he released so it's not it's not going to be I think by the time he finished, maybe it will be close to. Uh, so it's good to be safe to get two terabyte. But I would not get anything bigger than that because the the Linux uh, operating system for uh, Raspberry Pi operating system it does not support anything bigger than two terabyte at this moment. Maybe when they go to a sixty four gigabyte, sixty four bit operating system, that maybe they, that time maybe they will support it. 
but you want to format your hard drive to NTFS if you're going to use it for uh, the Raspberry Pi for the add-on for a virtual man add-on you could uh, you want to format to NTFS don't format it to EFOX because it doesn't recognize it but anyway I'm gonna do an upgrade and then uh, we're gonna go from there so just show you how to upgrade this so type sudo apt dash get update yes lowercase y and then nn nn mean uh, continue after you finish this this command you do another command do sudo apt do dist and dash upgrade and then after that continue with the next one and that will be uh, sudo apt dash get okay and we're gonna get the at auto auto remove space dash dash and then per we're gonna per, purge and we're gonna delete it and then we're gonna do sudo call again and apt dash get and we're gonna clean and that's what we're gonna do for the first command okay all right so I press enter and it's gonna take some time to do it it's gonna prompt you to click yes even though I already say I already say Y for yes, but it somehow it didn't take it. So it's gonna first one is doing the pseudo code uh, apt get update. Then it's going to do after update it's gonna do upgrade, and then it's going to clean clean up the the stuff that I download pretty much. Okay, uh, command not found. Well, that's the first time that happened. Did I type something wrong? It just crashed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one at a time. You could do one at a time. You don't have to do all at the, at the same time. But a lot of people don't want to sit there and wait for it. Okay, so first one is done. The second one is the one that did not did not finish so let's go check out the second one we're gonna get oh that's why I didn't work because I have okay I see my mistake because I the sudo I didn't have a space here okay sudo uh, supposed to type second one supposed to type sudo space apt and then distance okay so let's, let's run the second second command so and that's supposed to be a lowercase sudo so sudo apt distant dash update upgrade so we're doing the the upgrade now okay here we're gonna press yes okay so we did the update now we're doing the upgrade then after the upgrade we're gonna do sudo the last two command to clean up the all the download stuff so if you type something wrong it doesn't work what you could do is break it up into uh, different uh, you know because here's here's the this is what I wrote down see I type sudo code app get update so for the bad handwriting I was writing and watching the video same time and this is miss misspelled there's no space here just this distant dash up grade that's what we just run this one then after that there's another command we're going to run is this one auto remove purge and then we're going to do get uh, apt get and then clean and then then we're going to do the the three four and five so on okay so my little cheat note that i wrote down uh, I take note I try experience it and find out what kind of problem I run into 
so that I could bring you a more clear uh, a video. My video is always long, but I always try to explain to people what I run into problem with virtual man uh, image and what what you should do, what sh you shouldn't do. So we're gonna do all this step to upgrade the virtual man to uh, to the latest version, but we don't want to damage it either. Okay, so this 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 upgrade is after the Raspberry Pi uh, did a new 4.6 upgrade. Okay, this, so this image come after the four version 4.6, and this video is done after 4.6. So this is the latest the latest update for Virtual Man how to up how, how to upgrade update your Virtual Man image without messing it up alright this is going to take some time we're going to come back to this okay the download finally finished we're going to run the last two command and then we're going to go forward on this video about how to uh, do a proper update on the virtual virtual man's image 512 after the beta version already came out for the Pi 4 which is 4.6 uh, so we're gonna run the last command which is this last two okay so everything else behind it the we did the we did the update, we did the upgrade, so we're gonna remove those two. And the last two would be get, auto, remove, purge, and then clean. All right. Then we're gonna reboot it. And then we're gonna go to, uh, Oh, we're gonna do one more step, which is uh, sudo and be RPI dash update. So I'll be updating the Pi Pi update. keyboard just fall I'm trying to get the screen to so you guys can see everything I'm typing I apologize while ago the screen wasn't that wasn't zoom in all the way so what we did is we run this last two command called sudo and now we run in this this the last two okay so we run in this last two right now can y'all see it? Oh shoot, no, it's too too low, you can't see. Okay. So what we did is we run in this two command right there, this last two. And then once those two is done, uh, when I was asking yes and no answer, so we're gonna say yes. And then it's, it's going to continue. And once that one is done, we're going to uh, sudo reboot or just reboot. And then we're going to come back and we're going to run another command upgrade. So a lot of manually typing command. So I'll put that in the description so you could just copy and paste it. So you know how to type all this. All right, I'll be back. Okay, the upload is finished. We're gonna go ahead and uh, reboot it. So you could just type the word reboot, press enter, and it should reboot. Normally you're supposed to type sudo reboot, but uh, virtual man's command, when you type reboot, it only, it only man know is rebooting, so it reboot. 
So once it finished with booting, we're gonna go ahead and press F4 again, and then we're gonna run another command, uh, big long command, and then uh, Alright, we're gonna go ahead and press F4. But now the screen is a little bit higher, so we're gonna zoom go up. Okay. So we're gonna type this long command. Okay. Sudo hyphen the wiggling line, whatever, and then retro pi set up set up all right so let's try it See if I have type type error or not. Yeah, it looked like I did have a type error. <laughs> Control C. Alright, what did I type? Sudo sudo. Oh, the one command right. It's one wiggling line. Okay. Shift wiggling line. Okay. Then retro pi set up. All right, so let's press enter again. Okay, so we now, this is uh, actually, you could just, but that's the way to get into this. You could just go to retro on the main screen and uh, come here the same same way, which is the, okay. So here we're gonna select the, the S for update the uh, uh, retro pie setup. So we're going to move the screen over here. So you can actually get to this same command uh, screen uh, by just going to the retro uh, command. But the, that's the command line to just open this one up. To open up the emulation station, you could just type the word emulation station without space. And that will sh also come up. But yeah, type the word uh, sudo sudo then space emulation station all right so this will show up now we're going to do update the retro script gonna say yes all right so it's updating click ok all right so it's updating at the bottom when it finish it will kick you back up to the main screen so this part shouldn't take that long so if you was to go down the screen, here's what it looked like at the bottom. Okay, finish. Now you're going back to the top. <laughs> All right, so now we're back here again. All right, so we do okay. So we finished that portion. The next one we're gonna select is the P, managing the package. All right. Imagine a core package. Upgrade all install core package. Okay. So this is the part you don't want to do. Okay. Because if you upgrade upgrade all the core package, that means it will give you the latest version and then some of your program, some of your game might not work. Okay. So 
we are going to skip this part. This is the part that the uh, Derek talk told you to go ahead and do it. But by talking to a uh, virtual man, you might want to do it manually. Like you want to go and uh, upgrade or install core package. So you could just uh, select the one you want to upgrade and not what upgrade everything. Well, the core package is just a retro emulation, retro menu, and core package. Install all the core package. So let's go back. The main package. All right. So here is the one that you want to select. So the one I want instead, I want to, I want to upgrade the, the court for the final burnout. So that that's how I recommend it. So don't upgrade everything. I'm just gonna upgrade the one that is already there. So I'm gonna click enter. I'm gonna say update, uh, pre-built binary. Okay, so now we're going to update the other one, which is the 2002, 2003. Uh, but we're not going to do the, we're just gonna do the upgrade the binary. Okay, so don't do the resource. That take forever and I don't think it's necessary. So just do it from the, so we'll up, update the, show you so update those files that is needed okay so it's done now back to the screen again <laughs> okay so we're just gonna update all the 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 court manually one by one uh, all the RK one So we got the 2003, and we did the FBA, okay, so we say no, all right, uh, why do that, no, back, okay, now we do the option core. look for the one that that we use gonna do the final burnout 2012 okay update the primary yes let's wait for a few minutes it will be done but there is the screen. Okay, and we're gonna go back. Let's yeah, see, here's 2000. We wanna do 2000 as well. So we're updating all the court. Because the newer version, it, it play uh, it the, the game better. I mean, you know, than the, the older version. So that's 2010, 2003, 2000, and then we're just missing 2003. So we're looking for... So we're just missing 2003 and uh, 2003 plus. So 
So I think that's it. Go back. Uh, I'm going to go to driver package. Okay, experiment one. There you go, 2003. Uh, that one doesn't really do anything, so I'm gonna skip that one too. But 2000 plus, yes, we do want to update that. So after that, we're going to do 2003. I think we did 2003 already. This is 2003 plus. We need the 2016. So we're going to look for 2016 now. 2015. We really don't use that one, but he did install it so we're gonna go ahead and we uh, update that one too 2015 some reason this one's taking a little bit longer And that's pretty much it everything else I don't recommend updating it because it could screw up the uh, the game itself so the game will not work okay so that's pretty much it we'll go back out uh, let's see what this one has nothing special here out out okay so we just did the manually upgrade the court uh, by selecting manually ourselves now we're gonna update the configuration tool. We're gonna scroll down till we see the splash screen. There you go. That'll be A43. Take that one. Okay, and then we're gonna choose enable. When is is enable? Let's see what happened now it's disabled so I want to make sure it's enabled uh, which one are we gonna choose we're gonna choose number one one random splash okay so it's random and it's enabled all right now we just cancel and we boot this cancel back and perform reboot so after it's rebooting we're just going to uh, do the the two we're going to do f4 again and we're going to do the to fix play box so that would be the pretty much 
all the upgrade update you need from the to fix the virtual for the virtual man 512 that's pretty much it so so once we boot it we're gonna do f4 So we're going to do F4 again. And this time we're going to type in so we can move it over here. We're going to type in the uh, 2 P and then tap. So that will be the command we want to type. So that's the command we're going to type. Alright, so we're back to this main screen again. And this is the one we're going to select. We're going to select number one, fix the play box custom Raspberry Pi menu. That was fast, that was done. Then we're going to choose number two. Fix the region. Okay, we're gonna select the one uh, called the US Europe. US. Uh, which one is it? It's different this time. We're gonna choose number four, okay? So that will include the uh, Cody and everything. So we're gonna choose number four. All right, and now we're gonna reboot. X is out. Uh, let's see. We don't want to. We want to do a system reboot. Okay. All right. So the upgrade is done. We pretty much finished updating to to the latest version, and that's pretty much it for the the upgrade for the Virtual Man Five Twelve Kilobyte image. So we're gonna go we're gonna check to see what version we are in. I forgot to check that. So go to option, go to virtual pi setup. So we are the we are in the four point six point one. So we are the the latest version. So that's what we are on right now. All right, that's it. That's the upgrade for the... Now we're gonna go back and test the arcade game that I was having problem with it. Let's see, we're gonna get it. See if arcade game work now. So cause that's all we update was just the arcade. Everything else we didn't touch the courts. It's RK Classic. And we are going to go and check, test the. The Golden uh, Duel. See if it will work. That one, I, I might. I have a feeling that it might not work because it's. I'm not sure. It doesn't work on Raspberry Pi 3. 3P Plus. So I don't know if it will work on Pi 4. So let's try it anyway. I'm gonna press A. Change it to let's try FB Neo. See if that work without
I know last time I tried 2016, it frees up on me. Let's try 2003. Hey, we're going to work. Yeah, this is the first time I'm seeing this. The last time it didn't even show nothing like this. Last time I just got a frozen screen. So this is 2003. Maybe I should try the 2003 plus. Alright, let's try 2003 plus. This game do not work on Raspberry Pi, so I don't know if it will work with Raspberry Pi 4B. This is a four gig, four four gigabyte of memory only. So we still get a black screen right now. Alright, let's get out again. Let's try to do 2010. Got two left, 2010, 2016. So, if not, we just have to delete it. Nope, 2010 did not work. I wonder 2012 will work. Nope. So let's try 2016. It's the last chance. Probably might freeze up because last time it freeze up on me when I tried the the older version before the upgrade. So I guess it, it, it frees up again too. So I guess the last time you just showed me this and nothing else on the screen. So I guess 2016 do not work on this. Okay, I have some of the game that I added. Uh, it doesn't work. Uh, I went and installed more ROM to it, like more core. But uh, Nintendo, uh, the Pi 4, it doesn't have that much cord for the main and this is the only one it have it doesn't have the AD, uh, AD main either so I try all the main and it apparently none of them work so I even added the 2003 uh, midway I added the this one too and neither one of those two even I went to update all of them uh, apparently the uh, all the cord that I added it didn't it didn't work so I'm going to show you how to delete it the one that if you know if you add it and it doesn't work how do you get rid of them you know so see it just sit here oh I think this one just it actually frees up this one actually frees up so I have to reboot it So if you have a game you add it and it doesn't work, you you could delete it from the. This this is the easiest fastest way to delete, because it would it will remove it from physical look, 
the physical file will get deleted and also the from the game list uh, game list xml is located in the warm directory of the rk so inside it will it will delete it from the the file list so next time when we boot it it won't show up so uh we the upgrade is successful uh all the arcade game work except the new one that i added uh i added quite a bit one now is 1741 uh most of the one i added work and the one doesn't work we're gonna go ahead and delete it so we're going i'm gonna show you how to delete it I already delete the Wopo Cup from Super Nintendo and I also delete the we're gonna go ahead and delete the Super Mario World now the Super Mario by itself it worked the older one but the, the Super Mario World it doesn't work so we're gonna go to the Super Mario Super Mario World and remove that So, look for Super Mario. And uh, Street of Rage, all, all of them work just fine. And Strider, for some reason, using the old video. I already changed it, but it's still running the old video. But this is the newer version. I added that one. So let's go to Super Mario Brother, Super Mario World. Here you go. So this one do not work. Okay. So to delete it, you just press the uh, select button, and then select the edit that one, the last one, the media, and then you just uh, press the L. There's a L1 and R1, so just do R1, it will go all the way down to the bottom quicker. Then you just do delete, press A. You say, are you sure? Press A, say yes. And then you press B, and then that game is gone. Physically delete it and delete it from the game list. Okay? And then uh, there's another one called a Golden, uh, golden Axe Duel. It doesn't work. I tried all the different ones. Well, I haven't tried all of them. Let's go to the Golden Duo again. And let's try the other two that I just added. I don't think it will work, but let's go ahead and try it anyway. Press A. Press A. Okay. We're going to try. We already tried the main, so it doesn't work. Let's try the 2003 Mid, mid Wave. I don't think it will work, but that's the last one that I have. I haven't tried yet. So, nope, doesn't work. So we're going to delete it by pressing the select button. And then select edit this game media data. Press the R1 to go all the way down to the bottom. Then press A to select delete. Press A. Say yes. And then press B. And then the golden axe duo is gone. That game is kind of unique. It ha it work on PC, but it still doesn't work on Raspberry Pi 4 yet. So I was not surprised that it doesn't work. And then there's another last one I put on was uh, Super uh, Super Oop. See if you can find it. But that's how you did the that's how you do the upgrade. Don't upgrade all the core because all the other game work. The reason I upgrade the RK is because I was hoping some of the game that doesn't work that will work, but apparently it doesn't. So that's the only reason I upgrade it. And I have tested the other game, it worked just fine. So Try Super Condo. It's a Super Condo. There's another one called Super Condo 3. Hmm, I don't see it here. Oh, I think it's just called C. Condo 3. 
just a C. Let's go A, B, C. Alright. So Conto 3 is is a is a super super Nintendo version that got converted to RK. This one. So let's see if this one will because this one actually is better than the than this one. Because this graphic, I don't really like it. It looks terrible on this game. But the Super Nintendo version one, it looks nice. So let's see if we could get this one to work. It should be running in uh, May 2003. That's where I got the ROM from. So let's try 2003 first. Let's see if this one will work. It will be cool if it works. Let me turn the volume down. Nope. All right, let's try 2003 plus. I don't think uh, I don't think Raspberry Pi 4 support it. Okay, I think Raspberry Pi 3 plus does support it, but the Raspberry Pi 4 right now do not. The NES uh, converted to main. It doesn't seem to work. So maybe they will come up with a fix for it, an upgrade. But right now, based what I see, it doesn't work. So I'm going to select. Uh, which one should I choose? Let's try 2010. Nope. Oh. Let's try. Uh, let's try 2016. Apparently none of those are, uh, yeah, it doesn't support it. So if you have any uh, Nintendo that converted to the to the main, let's try the original one. All right, let's try one more last one. So at, uh, final burnout 2012 I don't think it will work but that's just good to try it so that's what you have to do whenever you add new game you just have to go down the list and see which one work or not I'm gonna try a regular main see if it work Yeah, I think it's just going to freeze the screen like last one, <laughs> which is not the, not going to work. Okay, but you got the idea. You just have to test it and then you uh, have to delete it. You have to uh, do a, if you do a start and you, you search for it, you know, the scrap, scrapple. Let me just reboot this. So, so the system, uh, the way you update it is you do all the up, all the upgrade like you would do if you were to watch the Dwayne uh, Derek talk on YouTube. Uh, the only step that you don't want to do is uh, upgrade all the court because uh, based on talking to uh, Virtual Man on his uh, episode 11 uh, video on YouTube like uh, two days ago uh, I guess in June early June June 8 he have a videos out and uh, I did ask him now if you need to get in using the win SCP uh, the password is play box but you don't spell it you put uppercase P and uppercase B B as in box Okay, so the password for the supervisor uh, password is going to be P as in play, B as in box. So play box, but it's only uppercase P and uppercase B. Okay, only two, only two letter is your password. Okay, so 
don't try to spell play box, it will not work. Because when I asked him, I said, what's the password? He said, play box. And then when I tried play box, it didn't work for my uh, Win SCP. Because I try to transfer file using the Windows Explorer. And he said, sometimes when you transfer file, get corrupted, it could mess up your, your game, game list. So if you're one of the game list is messed up, it will mess up all your game list. So everything I, every time, everything I scroll, I get a zero instead of a, a physical. It, it said there's nothing inside the game list. So when you press enter, this show nothing. So I was pretty interested. It was the first time that I, that ever happened to me. And I was like, wow. So I went and we burned the image and we did the whole image again to 512. So hopefully uh, this answers some of the question. I know there's a lot more to talk about. So this, this main, this whole thing mainly is talk about adding the RK and also how to upgrade it without damage anything. So let me just demonstrate uh, some of the game just to show you that uh, my upgrade did not damage anything. So I'm just gonna go in here and I'm just going to pick, uh, let's pick my favorite game. Well, let's go ahead and pick the Tetris, uh, Templates. See if Templates work, oop. Because uh, I haven't tested it out yet. I told you guys it does work straight from the box, but I haven't tested it. I tested on his older version, but let's go ahead. I mean, a 64 gig. <coughs> but I haven't tested on the the 512. So let's see if it actually works straight from the box with the templates with the trackball. So, see if I could bring this down a little bit. So you can see that I'm playing with the trackball instead of the stick. All right, so I'm gonna press uh, insert coin. And then there's two coin right there because I pressed it twice. And I'm gonna press the star button. And I'm gonna press the A button or B button. And then let's go, yeah. So straight from the box, uh, the, the trackball does work. Let me turn the value up. So this one does work straight from the box. So if, those of you who have RK one up and you want to upgrade like I did, I have a Street Fighter controller and I upgrade it. So let's go and try the uh, Centipede. Centipede used uh, the spinner. So let's try well, actually, Centipede used a trackball. I, gotta, I always get them confused. Okay, let me get out here. Let's go back to templates. Templates supposed to use the, the spinner, not the trackball. Excuse me. There's my spinner right there. All right, that's what I was wondering. <laughs> it's kind of a little bit. All right, I mean, you still, they both have the same, uh, the same, uh, they use, they share the same, what you call it, controller? Ah, I just accidentally pressed something. Okay, so let's, let's do it correctly. Let's use, let's use the spinner instead of trackball. I was using the trackball playing the spinner. I mean the templates. Because trackball you could go up and down. Spinner just spin around. So you don't really need that one. So I messed up. Alright, there you go. There's the spinner. Let's see. So if you, if you don't really want to purchase, you know, extra, because the spinner costs more than the, the trackball. But right now he doesn't have, it's out of stock. So you can't buy it anymore on Amazon. Some people ask him and he say, well, they're planning to come out with a, another newer version for a trackball. I don't know if that's really the case, but 
who who's for me to judge <laughs> but yeah they both are out and last time he said the reason the trackball was out was because they're coming out with a newer model okay which could be possible because he have there's somebody that came out with something that you could do a touch and you could switch the color of the without having to go to the bottom and touch the bottom of the trackball to change the color you can actually have a little cable and you could just touch it and it would change the color of the ball which is pretty cool all right now let's go test the trackball going to centipede so one thing good about his image is game play very well the one that he have does play very well and straight from the box glenn's uh, trackball and spinner work nicely okay you don't have to do anything and it worked great and hopefully he will come out with more of uh, arcade game uh, so that would be great you know if he could come up with more arcade game there you go so you go up you go down So I got both of them put in here. Now, if you were to put a spinner, don't put it so close to this because of my button, see that? It interfere with my button pushing. Try to move it to the bottom because when you play it, it doesn't interfere you. Your hand is over here and your hand is on the top. So it would be good to move it more to this side instead, okay? Because what I did is I, I got it too close to the button. It better be right underneath the, the joystick for the spinner. Actually, it would be better to put the spin over here and track ball over here. No, because then it will interfere you. Because when you're playing the other game, this monitor is in the way. Like uh, Golden T, you know, when you have to shoot the ball, you have to, go, you have to push, you know, real fast. Alright, so, so the arcade worked beautifully. Let me cancel that. And let's just try uh, this game. Now, this game, the blues. Oh, Dolphin Blue, it played very nice over here compared to uh, Wolf Stand. Uh, Wolf Stand uh, image. I'm sorry that I got the thing so low you can't even see the game. Wolf Stand, uh, for some reason, this game played much better on his image based on the graphic and the sound. And this is not overclocked, it's just normal. I have not. I have not overclocked this. I only have the ice tower fan in the back. And uh, I put the, the next video I'll talk about the physical hard drive, which one I use, okay? This one mainly is just talk about. Now don't forget, if you burn the 512 image, make sure you got the version called Playbox 1.5. Do not get the 1.4 version. It doesn't work when you're doing a deal with a hard drive, okay? So comparing this this game with the uh, Wolfstand uh, 256 gigabyte, uh, this one played very nice. On both 64 gig and the 5, 512. The sound is great. And the graphic is great. I don't know what the uh, virtual man did, but I mean it's the same emulator. They use they both use the same emulator, but apparently his tend to play nicer and the graphic it, it looked great. No slowdown or nothing. This reminds me of Metal Slaw, but uh, a real nice one.
cool. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for watching. Hopefully, this helped uh, you guys a little bit about what need to be updated. Uh, uh, Derek did a very good uh, video. It's just uh, the time frame that he did it. Uh, they didn't have uh, Raspberry Pi 4.6 yet. So when they release that, it is a big issue. If you upgrade all the core, there will be possibility that uh, will mess up the game set. Now, I don't think it will, but it might mess up the Neo Geo CD, okay? So just FYI, because I use a 64 gig, and I think I did update it all the court, and I think I might have messed up the Nintendo 64, not Nintendo 64, the Neo Geo CD, Neo C Neo Geo CD might get messed up. All right, thank you for watching, and uh, next I will talk about other stuff like uh, how to get Turbo Graphic uh, 16 and PC Engine CD uh, working. Why now he have them combine them together because it, based on what he's telling me he think that Sega Genesis like for example he the example he used Sega Genesis and Mega Drive are pointing to each other because they have the same ROM set now that argument is kind of true because Sega was able to manage to bring the Japanese version to America so America and Japan they pretty much have the same game set so by combining them and changing to Genesis, which makes sense, because it just uh, depend which which uh, region you from. If you from Europe, you probably prefer Mega Drive instead of Sega Genesis. But Turbo 16 is totally opposite. Turbo 16, the English version only in United States, not only on United States. J J Let me take that back. PC Engine have a lot of game is only in Japan. It never came to America, and that's the reason topographic part of the game did not come over fast enough that they lost their business, not enough game support. So PC Engine had more game than Turbo CD, Turbo 16 CD, and by putting them together, that doesn't work because they are not the same game set, not like Sega Genesis and Mega Drive. So they have to be separate. It cannot be together. So that concept is not correct okay so just FYI so I'm gonna I, I did ask him and uh, I couldn't get the win uh, SCP to work so I couldn't see the shortcut so he did explain to me that those are shortcut that's the reason you couldn't access the Topo 16 CD so now I remove the shortcut and uh, I will do a video about how to remove it and get the Topo CD on its own and then uh, PC Engine on its own. Because PC Engine CD have more game than Turbo CD and they are not the same game set. Not like Sega Genesis and Mega Drive. They are not the same game set. So by putting them together is actually a no-no. <laughs> All right, so that's it for my video. Sorry it took a long, long time. Uh, hopefully this helped. I will do other video. Let me know what you have question on and I will try to answer your question. I know uh, it's very hard to get this thing set up, but it's worth it and it's cool and it's fun. And he did a very, very wonderful job, especially for Pi 4. I wish uh, Motion Blue will come back. He said that he will make a uh, possibility come back, make another one if there's a new version, new hardware will come out. So there is a new one and I hope Motion Blue will come out because his have track track uh, track mode uh, this one do not have track mode so I missed the track mode that's the reason I got into the Raspberry Pi because I like I like the track mode this is like similar to track mode but it's not okay but yes I, I missed the track mode this is the closest to the track mode but it's not as pretty as track mode 
okay if you have seen motion blue and uh, hyper spin you will know what I'm talking about so this you know em emulation station yes it's easier it's not easier it's just less track mode you have to create more folder create more box more artwork than you do with the emulation station but track mode is one way to go because uh, I love track mode more than I do with emulation station even though they they did a lot of extra new stuff but it's just not the same you know motion blue you 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 click on something something will come back out here you know and you, you click on the different set another picture will come out it doesn't stay on one pictures like uh, this one does the theme the theme is only staying one pictures and this is uh, the closest to the, the to the track track mode so I hope track mode will come back uh, he's not planning on doing it I did talk to virtual man he's not planning to do it he said that's too much time uh, too much uh, time consuming so he's not going to do it uh, so I hope motion blue will come out and uh, put one of those things out so that'll be great all right thanks for watching talk to you later bye